are doing great um, making a juice and this is just the end portion of this uh, green papaya juice magic and so the ingredients for today are as you may know from the uh, wording it's papaya and kale cucumber and some carrot because the carrot gave it some extra sweetness and um i am actually um just making this video to share some of the love that was created in today some positive energy and to share the juice for the moment so um as i said we have papaya and i'm going to um let me just i want to avoid some spillage and so here we have it and I have a good feeling about it. I added some extra carrot just towards the end because I noticed that the flavor was a little bit too um, unpleasant, to be honest. So there we go. And I am looking forward now to a little slightly, like a bit nicer of a taste, hopefully. So it's quite a fascinating mix and it's quite thick, which is, I like that actually. So some kale. Now, uh, bottoms up, right? Cheers. Let's see what I feel about it. And if I enjoy it, then um, I invite you to try it out. Mm -hmm. So that's quite nice because the papaya, I've noticed that papaya gives it a particularly um, nice thickness and it's very mild it's not super sweet now if you were to make yesterday's juice which was beetroot with carrot and papaya and i think i added celery or cucumber to it but the beetroot papaya carrot combination is extraordinary so i highly recommend it and this one is very nutritious because i put in two large cucumbers well medium to large and the kale, it was, I have the, um, the amounts to be precise for you, 165 grams of kale, 295 grams papaya, we have 420 grams of cucumber, and we have about 255 grams of carrots. All the ingredients are raw, of course, for juicing purposes, and the vitamins are out of this world. They are wonderful. I super highly recommend. It's green. So here we go. I didn't even intend to make a greens drink, but it is green, and my inspiration today was to use kale. I just felt like I want to do something with the kale and the papaya, and I feel like you can't go wrong with those ingredients because they're so nutritious. And now if you want, you can enhance it by adding an apple. Um, uh, you know, I feel that you don't want to make things too, um, too complicated with the ingredients when you're juicing, just so that you can um, firstly enjoy the flavors that you are using, and secondly, you can um, basically just have your body um, experience a simpler process in digestion so that it's not like too many things at the same time. Even though it is a juice, I feel that it's nice to be mindful about each ingredient and our body can be mindful too which actually is my insight for the day is just being mindful in the moments that we're in so as i'm with you right now i am being mindful about this particular precious moment and i will be mindful as i drink my juice i will just give thanks for all the vegetables the vegetation of the planet the fruits of the planet the sun that is in these ingredients that I'm drinking and bringing into my body. So even if the day is gloomy and gray, even if it's raining, even if there are a few days without sunshine, at least I'm taking ingredients into my body that contain the sun. So as I do this, I am drinking in the sun. Mm. And 
and just enjoying that even more because of that intention and that presence with the juice so that I become one with the juice and the juice's vibrations work at their very best in my benefit for my greatest thriving on this planet to be the greatest source of joy and light for um, everything and if it can ease the suffering of others then then that is beautiful and I definitely align with that and and so it is so yeah enjoy your juices or your nutrition your nutritious nourishing foods and drinks your beverages and your mindful moments of being in the moment totally present here and now so thank you and see you next time bye and cheers to the juice thank you veggies thank you thank you thank you